Okay, so this video will show you how to make your own customized slider for your jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone. So what we're going to do is go to www.pixlr.com slash editor. And it's always free, it's just um, the software we're going to use. So click open image from computer and open the template that you downloaded from the link in the description below. And it's basically just the default slider for your iPhone. Over here you have your navigator. You can zoom in a little bit, see what you're doing. So we're going to go to layer, open image as layer, and then find the picture that you want it to open. Um, I'll just pick one. Okay, so you're going to find that the picture you just opened is way bigger than the slider. So go to um, edit free transform and then if you hold down shift and drag the corner inward it keeps it proportional as you move it and resize it so that's a good thing to use so once you're satisfied you can hit enter and it becomes pixelated it looks like but it's just because we're working in such a small space like with such tiny pixels it's totally fine if when you transfer it it'll be completely fine high quality like you had it all right, so over here we have our layers panel and you can turn your layers on and off by unchecking them. You can rearrange them so different ones are on top and it's very useful. Um, so right now we have the image layer selected which means any changes we make will happen to this layer. So we want to click the layer that has the slider and then hide the image layer from view. So once we have that, go to edit and then select pixels. So basically this highlights everything that isn't transparent. Go back and click on the image layer and now you want it to be visible. Go to edit, invert selection so the extraneous pixels are selected. And then go to edit clear or just hit backspace. So now we have your image in the shape of a slider. So go to edit and then deselect. And you can get fancy with this if you want, like if you wanted to you could go to layer, open image, and then have another one open. So for example, um, I know this is ready to go. If I open Scooby Doo and say I want him on top. That would be something you can do. That's what's um, so fun about this software. So now I have Scooby-Doo on it. If I want, there's all these tools over here. I can add my name to it. I can change the color if I wanted to. Let's say I want it to be white. I can change the font and stuff. And then let's just say I want to move it over. So when you're finally happy with your slider, go to File, Save. Keep it as PNG, and you want to save it to a new folder. So I'm just going to make a new folder real quick and call it Scooby Doo Slider. Will that show up here? Ah, oh, Macs are such pains in the butts. Okay. So inside that folder, we want to make a new folder. And you need to call it bundles. Inside bundles, you need to have a new folder called com.apple.telephony UI, which is a strange name, I know, but um, when your phone tries to look for your slider, it follows a certain path, and if it can't find that path, then it won't find your slider, and it'll just go back to the default one. So it's very important that you get it exactly. So when you save it in there, so I have it saved, and then you need to go back, and then save it again. In the same location, um, you're going to rename it so that it says bottom bar knob green this time at 2x.png and then finally
bottom bar knob red. And the first one I forgot to rename, so you need to rename that one. So bottom bar knob gray. Because when you get a call on your iPhone, um, the slider's green, so it has a certain name. When you go to turn off your phone, the slider's red, so it's a different name. And then the standard one's gray, so that's a different name. So that's why you need to rename them all. So now that you have all these files, then you are all set. And you can check out my other video to see how to transfer them to your device. So thanks for watching.